to the UK, my partner and I, because um, I've got a job as chief editor on Big Brother. You know, we, we, we flew our two West Highland Terriers over um, 2011 and 12 grand almost, so it's, it's costing about 13 grand for them to fly over, but we rescued these two beautiful golden retrievers, um, Sammy and Bear, and and we don't want to leave them behind. Come on, all my bitches. Sammy, come on. I'm going to make sure that we all, all get back We rescued them um, last year. Um, and basically, they're doing really well. They're such passive, classic I should say, um, dogs and uh, they just, they turned our little dog into an amazing girl because beforehand she was a nightmare. She'd bark incessantly at any dog that walked past but now there's a pack, there's four of them, She's, she kind of feels more secure I think, it's like she feels that she doesn't have to be the dominant bitch that goes around looking after this little mutt here and uh, <laughs> Um, and basically um, it's, it's helped her come on leaps and bounds having all four of them together and I don't want to I don't want to break that up that unit but it's just where we can find the money at all Oh, this princess, you've got the best seat of all, haven't you? Ah, you're a They're all alright in the back, aren't they? Huh? <laughs> They're all alright in the back, aren't they? So we've been searching now frantically on the internet to find some good deals, but there are no good deals, and basically it's gonna cost us way over 30,000 grand to fly them over, and we just don't have it. Are you driving, Holly? You gonna sit on my lap? I just wanted to kind of document this. Um, I know it's quite morbid, but in case it is our last few days with them, I don't know what we'll do to tell you the truth because if we can't raise the 30 grand, I don't, I, I don't even want to think about that. We thought we were staying and they were at the rescue centre for over a month and they were just so cute together and we didn't want to split them up. What can I say, some people fall in love with little kids gay people fall in love with dogs or cats. We're really trying to think of some money-making schemes quickly. Nineteen thousand. 
through superannuation. So we've got to raise another 12 grand. We'll find it, we'll do something. We think we may have found a way. So the main thing I'm concerned about really is VFM value for money. For what? When we get back, because with all these four dogs, not that it's deterring me from taking them back, but what are we gonna, what are we gonna be able to afford? Two up, two down, seven. Well, you're earning a good salary over there. You've already got the job. Well, we'll still only be able to afford a, a two up, two down semi if we're lucky. No, that is in London. You'll just have to travel in. But not if we move down to Surrey or somewhere or Kings. But the outskirts of London are shit as well, you know. Surrey will take, do you know how much it costs on a train? It costs over a thousand pounds a month to get from Surrey. Yeah, but to you're going to, to earn enough. Sammy. Hey. Bear. Time. five years ago with the two Westies. It was such a traumatic experience, so I'm not handling it very well. The more I think about this, the more I'm just wondering whether we're doing the right thing, leaving all this space we've got. I'm happy, obviously, that the dogs are coming, that all the family's together, but I'm just dubious and I'm just, apprehensive and worried about the future. You can't beat the land here, you can't beat the space. I do miss certain aspects of the UK, the culture, the humour, my friends, my family. Despite my demeanour and the things I'm saying, I am happy. Do you? 